Yes guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel and to today's video, which is going to be a little bit of a more kind of like casual vibe because today we're going to sit down and have a little chat about current trends that I personally love and I'm really looking forward to kind of like bringing into my personal style and outfits. So yeah, it's going to be a little bit more chilled than my normal kind of video, but nevertheless, please make sure you smash that thumbs up button because it honestly helps the channel so much. Also, my YouTube analytics is telling me that on average, 70% of people that are watching my videos are not subscribed to the channel, which it, that's mental. So if you're watching this video right now and you are not subscribed to the channel, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean more to me than you can imagine. Um, and it also kind of helps you guys not miss a video and keep up to date with my weekly content. Right then, so I guess let's start with the first trend that I am currently a big, big fan of, and that is chunky sandals. Obviously, you guys know that I'm a big, big fan of the whole kind of like chunky sneaker scene. I'm always rocking around in my Balenciaga tracks, so I guess it kind of comes as no surprise that I'm also a big fan of the chunky sandals. So it goes without saying that I'm a big, big fan of the Balenciaga track sandals. These would probably be my kind of like first choice. However, they're obviously a little bit pricey. They're coming in at £450. A great alternative would be the Birkenstock sandals. I don't know if I have absolutely butchered that name. Is that what they're called? Birkenstock? I don't know. We're going to go with it. Um, but they're a great affordable alternative. Obviously, they're not as kind of like chunky and in your face as the Balenciaga sandals. But at the same time, for the price difference, these are coming in at £35. So if you're comparing that to £450, it's a great alternative. Another pair that I'm a big fan of is from a brand called 80s. Now you've probably seen these like all over Instagram, but these are the 80s Capri sandals. Now these guys are available in both beige and black, and they're also a little bit more affordable than the Balenciaga ones. These are coming in at roughly around £150. But like I always say, guys, you don't have to go designer. There's always some amazing, more affordable alternatives out there from brands such as ASOS, COS, Arkit, all them kind of brands always do some amazing, like I said, more affordable alternatives. I might actually do a video on some kind of like designer alternatives that I really recommend. Let me know in the comment section down below. Would that be a video that you guys would want to see? Let me know. And then moving on to trend number two that I'm a big, big fan of, and that is kind of like really small bags or like neck wallet type accessories. So this trend kind of started with crossbody bags and through the seasons, I've noticed the bags getting smaller and smaller. And to be honest, I'm a big fan. You're probably not really gonna get that much use out of it in terms of kind of using it as a bag, like fitting things into it. But I feel like they are kind of like a great accessory to use in your outfit or like a great styling piece to use just to give your outfit a little bit of an extra pop if you feel that it's maybe looking a little bit basic. So this brand here, to be honest, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it, but you've probably seen these all over Instagram. They've got some amazing bags that I absolutely love in some beautiful colorways. However, they are a little bit more on the pricey side. If you'd be looking for something that is a little bit more affordable, definitely check out Zara. That is where I picked up this neck wallet for an absolute steal of um £5.99 and they've also got a load more to choose from as well so if you're on the market for a more affordable kind of crossbody bag or neck wallet type bag definitely check out Zara. Like I said previously you're probably not really going to get that much use out of the bag in terms of like fitting things in but if you're looking for an accessory that is going to help kind of elevate what can be quite a basic outfit, then implementing the trend that is kind of like small bags or neck wallets is a great way to do it. So moving on to the third trend of the video, and that is boxy slash oversized blazers. This is a trend that we've seen quite a lot over the past like year or two, and it looks like it's here to stay, which I am gassed about because I'm super excited to kind of bring these pieces into my personal style. If you follow me on Instagram, uh, well, first, if you don't, you should be, but if you do follow me on Instagram, then you'd have seen that I recently picked up this oversized blazer from my local charity shop for an absolute steal, eight pound. So I definitely encourage you guys to go to your local charity store 
and kind of have a little rummage through there because there's some absolute steals, especially for things like, um, like blazers and trousers, all that kind of stuff. There is honestly some bargains. So go to your charity store, have a little rummage and see what you can find. But yeah, I've been seeing quite a lot of oversized blazers in spring summer collections. And like I said, I'm super gassed that they're here to stay. If you're not really wanting to thrift them, then definitely check out um, places like Cold Laundry, obviously the ASOS design section. And also, if I remember rightly, I think the Zara Spring Summer 20 collection had some great options when it comes to um, like oversized blazers and things like that. So definitely check that out. And then moving on to trend number four, and this isn't a like specific type of garment as such, but this is actually washed out pastel colors. So I've noticed that pastels have been kind of like coming in and out over the past couple of summers. However, this summer in particular, I've noticed a big kind of like surge in people wearing pastel colors. And I mean, it looks sick. So I think you're gonna be seeing quite a lot of like pastel tones throughout this summer for sure. I see quite a lot of like pastel blazers from brands like Cold Laundry, but what I've really been noticing and really loving recently is people starting to wear like pastel colored knits. And I mean, I think it looks sick. This is an item that I am definitely um, currently kind of looking to cop. So if any of you guys recommend any brands or anything like that, then definitely let me know in the comment section down below. And then moving on to trend number five and kind of similar to the first trend, which was chunky sandals but this one being chunky loafers or like just basically chunky shoes. So you've all probably seen the chunky loafers, which by the way are amazing and I really wish I had them. But I've also been seeing quite a lot of like chunky Derby shoes, which are so, so nice. Again, Prada have dropped a pair which are beautiful. They're basically um, like the Derby version of their chunky boots. But with that, of course, ASOS has some amazing affordable options. So if you're on the market for this kind of product, but you're maybe shopping on a budget, I'll leave some affordable options in the description down below. But yeah, it's looking like the chunky footwear trend is here to stay. And to be honest, I couldn't be happier because right now I couldn't imagine myself wearing a non-chunky style like piece of footwear. I couldn't imagine it. Even when I'm wearing my New Balance 530s, because they um, aren't like nowhere near as big as my Balenciagas, like they are kind of like a dad style shoe, but because they're not as big as my Balenciagas, they, they feel tiny. But yeah, trend number five that you guys are gonna be seeing a lot more of this summer is the chunky loafers slash, I guess, chunky derbies. And that's it for this video, guys. But before you switch off, hop on over to my Instagram and give me a follow over there because I'm super active. And it also kind of gives you guys the opportunity to kind of see what I'm up to on a daily basis and get a little bit of a behind the scenes look to my life and what it's like kind of making these videos. And like I said before, YouTube's telling me that 70% of the people that are watching my videos right now are not subscribed. So if you're part of that 70%, you know what to do. But that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you're new. Drop a comment down below. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. It's basically a daily vlog. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.